Here is a simple filter for 7 MHz. It's built from standard components, the capacitors 2 or 2.5%, two the inductors 5%. Uh, here is the schematic diagram. Uh, and the frequency response is here. So you can see attenuation half a dB, bandwidth one and a half megahertz or maybe two megahertz. But the important thing is suppression at half the frequency here is better than 30 dB. This filter is for uh, receivers on 7 megahertz, receivers that suffer from uh, second order intermodulation or overtones from stations at half the frequency. Uh, and that is a problem in all uh, radios that don't have such filters built in. And even if they have, they may have some sensitivity due to intermodulation in the filters themselves. I will compare the AirSpy HF Plus and the AirSpy Spyverter combination on 7 MHz with and without that bandpass filter. To that end I have a splitter into three ports, one into each radio and one to the spectrum analyzer up there. Uh, I have a signal from an antenna which is amplified with some amplifiers and then goes through this box which is a, a transmission line notch filter. It goes from DC up to 13 megahertz with a notch at 7.198 megahertz. Uh, the antenna signal is attenuated in this stepped attenuator and then routed through this uh, directional coupler which goes into the splitter. Uh, into the directional coupler I can send a signal on the frequency of the notch which means that non-linearities or signals on the notch frequency they don't pass this box, they come into the receivers uh, with their native noise floor, there is no antenna noise present within the notch. I'm now listening to the air spy spyverter uh, and I have set the antenna signal uh, very close to the place where I have occasional interference. I can increase a little bit. That was 2 dB. This varies with time, of course, since the stations, but then we can hear there is some we have some problems and we can see very easily there are signals within the notch. And what I have as input you can see here, the reference level is 0 dBm. So I have signals at minus 25 dBm here and on 7 MHz it's minus, uh, what is it, 45, minus 40. And the setting on this attenuator is uh, 26 dB. So I switch for the HF Plus instead. Well, first I switch off this uh, reference signal so you can hear. And it's fairly noisy. I set the level for that. And the HF Plus, it's much less noise because it has a better noise figure. And I increase the uh, antenna signal, 10 dB, and this leads to uh, that the front end attenuator cuts in, so we lose signal to noise ratio. But um, 
it seems we don't have signals that combine to produce intermodulation within this frequency range means there is nothing on half the frequency or no two strong signals that sum up to the notch frequency uh, well uh, I give it 10 more dB and now we don't hear anymore so it is now uh, 6 dB attenuation and I step back until we can hear I switch off the signal there happens to be something on precisely the same frequency some non-linearity so I change by 500 Hz the signal is gone. Anyway, uh, yeah, now you can see there is an interferer. So that happens with an attenuator setting of 10 dB. Now I have introduced the bandpass filter and I'm listening to the, the Spiverter combination. And I had a minute or two ago some interference here, but I increased the level a little bit. Yes, here it's really bad. So I back off one dB and one more. So here is where the uh, air spy spy verter combination. Uh, cannot tolerate more and that is with an attenuator setting of uh, 40 decibels 30 plus 10 and then I go to the uh, HF plus switch off this and switch on this and we have the much better noise figure of course and I give it 10 more dB 20 30 and we can still hear the signal uh, nearly as well as we could on the spiverter I switch in a little bit more and here the signal is really weak the next level of a front end attenuation was switched in and that is at an attenuation of 6 dB. That is 34 dB above where the uh, spiverter air spy combination wasn't happy anymore. So the front end filter here, a very simple thing, improves much more on the HF plus than it does on the spiverter air spy combo. And that is a general thing for these two radios, that the Air Spy needs filter more than... The HF Plus needs filter more than the Air Spy Spiverter, if you want to use its much better close-range properties. It may be good enough without front-end filters, or maybe your antenna is uh, suppressing frequencies, signals at frequencies close to half the frequency, because that's the dominating problem when you use the HF plus on the upper half of the HF band. And here is what I send into the radios now, uh, where the HF plus still works, while the air spy spiverter is heavily saturated can see minus 16 dBm, minus 15 sometimes 
on 7.28, that is the AM stations. So, the filter is doing good work and it's a simple thing to do. Note here that the antenna noise floor is at about minus 70 while the noise floor of the radio is at minus 105 that is 35 dB so uh, there is a 35 dB margin uh, between you want it to be something like 6 dB it means uh, you can have stations that are about 30 dB stronger than the ones I have here uh, until uh, you have a problem with the HF plus and 35 30 dB is quite a lot so this radio should be adequate almost everywhere uh, provided it has an adequate filter on the input